Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Angie, um, Bub Mai on Instagram, B-U-B-M-I-E. Welcome back to my channel. If you're, a, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new, I hope you stay for the ride. If you don't, hey, that's okay. Um, today is Wednesday, September 4th, and I had recorded on Monday night, and I was too tired to upload it um, after I was done, and then I rewatched it, and I was like, the title of this would be Constipation of the Brain, Diarrhea of the Mouth, and I went, mm, no, so I, hear, I am here re-recording, re, re I can't talk, so it was... It's been hot here in Illinois. I watching um, Pretty Southern talk about how it's fall and watching Bendy Stitchy do her little live feeds and she is um, wearing a scarf and a jacket and it's 54 degrees in the morning and yeah, not so much here. It was 74 when I left the house. It was 94 when I came home. We had a very brief shower that brought us three tenths of an inch of rain and then the sun came out. So we took a walk. That's why my hair's up because it was like 90% humidity out, but it was a nice night for a walk. So let's get started. Um, purchases. So I've told you before that I belong to the Button of the Month Club and they had something special. They had this Jack um, Halloween. So there's a little bit of stitching to do in it and then there's lots of buttons. Sorry for the glare. There we go, that's better. Lots of buttons. So um, you're gonna add, I'll stitch that up and I add this pumpkin and add um, some of these little black beads and add some of these like cream colored beads and that's it. But then they also gave us big black beads and some other Halloween goodies which there's not a great way to display this sorry then showing you in my hand um, got some more candy corn I could not think of the when I did the other video I couldn't think of candy corn to save my life I was calling this Indian corn this is an Indian corn it's candy corn um, so I got a little piece of wrapped candy I bet you that's like butterscotch and an adorable ghost and this crazy cat and another cat with a um, pumpkin jack liner I I love cats I swore when I was a kid I was gonna own cats whenever I saw a cat I had to hold it um, then when I was 16 I think I got contacts I can't get near a cat my eyes oh my gosh I was at a friend's house the other night and her cat came in the room I didn't even touch her cat and I scratch I like touched like hair and beet red and itchy got a moon I got a cool crow or a bird I think it's a crow this owl isn't this owl like fantastic I love that owl and I don't know what this is is it like a puppy dog face or is it a ghoul face? I don't know what it is, but it's cute. So that's what I got in my button of the month. No, it wasn't button of the month, take that back. It was my specialty, the special Halloween needle print and play because this piece in here, um, this piece that says Jack, it's, um, it's a piece of perforated paper. Is a jack on it and then it comes with I don't know why comes with this card so jack and then the pattern and the instructions so I think I'll get that sewn up for Halloween okay I told you and I promised my husband that I wasn't gonna buy anything I was not gonna buy patterns magazines don't count um, although, um, Lindy, Stephanie at Lindy Stitches is killing me with that Mr. and Mrs. Delicious. I might have to, I might have to sneak that sucker in because it's adorable. Okay. So here is, I got this one. Now, if you got, if I told you guys the story about Frida, there is a painting in the local Mexican establishment that my girlfriends and I go to. 
and it's a, there's a picture of Frida, but she like really has a mustache. And it's always kind of creeped it out. We didn't realize it was Frida. I, I think it was probably, you know her name. Shit. McKenna, sorry. It was McKenna who like taught me, schooled me on Frida. So um, I just, I don't know that I'll stitch this, but I really like this picture and it makes me think of McKenna. It makes me think of my friends. All you guys have stitched something with Frida. I'm learning about Frida. It's just really cool. So I like that. So, and I've told you in the last one, my love for the beach. Look at those pretty blues. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Dreaming of my next time to go to the sea. Adding to my cat theme. Look at that adorable cat. Look at that. Here's the cat. And that one. So, so cute. I've told my husband, I've been on him. I have a friend who, um, who has some barn cats because she lives out in the country, more out in the country than I do. And, um, will get feral cats and take them to be taken care of. And, um, so she has offered me two barn cats because we have a horrible problem with voles in our yard right now. In fact, I lost three of my cute cantaloupe because they thought that they, I was feeding them. So check out these Sundays. Don't they look delicious? Those colors are fantastic. This is the August issue of Cross Stitcher. And then check out this elephant pillow. Isn't that just adorable? If I had a granddaughter, she might need that, but we're not in the market for grandchildren yet. And then, um, I don't know that I would stitch all of these, but maybe the ones that I, um, was something that I did. This one reminds me, although I don't have a chair like that, but it reminds me of going to the beach. So I like, the, I like those colors. So there was that. And then the October issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. That is adorable. I love the Cardinal Lookout. I love the colors. I love how they did these leaves. I mean, those I think are some of the most true to life fall leaves I've ever seen. I'm not too sure about the purple, but the reds in these leaves are just so fantastic. Fantastic. Um, check out that. And it comes with, so instead of doing this fruit bowl, you could write the word thankful. And I just think that would be, make a very nice fall pillow. Go next to my windmill pillow. Ginger Gerald's windmill pillow that I've got to put together. These squirrels are just so cute. And that little mouse. They should have done it with like some bite marks out of the out of the pumpkin because they were eating it. I think if I do this, I would change these to white pumpkins. I don't know. I don't know that I like the green ones. Cause these all are these are orange these are like so far behind but I really like that wall hanging and then I showed you the cardinal this pillow check that puppy out isn't that pretty I think that would be a fun like winter time stitch or something and this young lady picking apples. I love that. Um, I think I tagged almost everything in this magazine. I was just very excited to have it. I was doing, I did one of these bunnies. I did the, um, I think it was the April one. I did it in turquoise with the bunny with a rabbit. I just really like this. And I love these fall colors. I love that, the variegated around there. Check out the greens in this. I just, um, I 
just really like it. It's a lot of stitches in there. There's a lot of, what are they calling those? Work basket stitch. Oh, work back stitch over two thirds, sorry. It's late. Work basket stitch, what am I, I can't even read. There's extra stitches, like cross stitch, like back stitches over the top to give the bird this texture. And then there's ex there's back stitches over the feathers here, the wing here. And there's extra back stitching seat over the head here. So I guess if you're not a back stitch fan, this might not be the project for you. Okay. I've never done a mandala before, but I really like that one. Just a simple fall one like that. And then, okay, then there's some Halloween ones in here. I'm just going to show you this page so I don't go by page by page. I really like that. And I believe I probably have some Halloween uh, um, charms or things that can go on there. I really like that cat. I really like these bats. Now in that picture, the bats look fairly black, but doesn't that look like he's got some purple in him? It's a Weeks Dye Works um, thread called Soot. I just think it's got a lot of purple to it. Um, I really like that one. Very fallish. Very fallish. And fall is just starting to get ready to attempt to come our way. I've noticed that the corn is starting to turn brown and the soybeans are starting to turn yellow. But I have seen very little leaf changes. I like this one. Okay. Magazine number two. And then the last one. I was so excited to get this. I love this magazine. I love watching all of you do your um, punch needle. I will watch you do your punch needle. I will cheer you on doing your punch needle. I might suggest punch needle patterns I see. I am not taking a punch needle. I don't need another hobby. I don't need, I don't need another thing. I've got plenty to do. But I love looking at these. So I'll cheer you guys all on. Check this, this one out. You haven't seen this. Love that turkey and that cabin. Oh, 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 wait, backtrack. So, Michelle Bendy Stitchy is at the beginning with her Alzheimer's. And so I'd like to know, I think, I don't know which episode, which video I talked about, what can you do for your brain? So I'm asking you, what are you doing for your brain? So, cause we need to do things for our brain. Our brain is a muscle, it needs to be used. Well, we need some things in our lives that we keep consistent, like what time we take our medication, maybe where we keep our medication, that pattern we need to keep the same because we need to stay healthy. But other things need to be different. So now that our son Matthew's gone, um, Dave and I have been changing up where we sit at the dinner table, like tonight, we used to, we usually, like he sits here and I sit over here um, to his left. And now we're sitting opposite. We're sitting across from each other, like short ways on the table, not the long ways, not like, like a king and queen far away. We're sitting across. So we're kind of changing that up. Um, I've been reading different things. Um, I picked up, this was on, in Prade Magazine, there was the Great American Read or whatever it was called. What's the best Great American book? So I picked this up from my school library. Little Women. This is this is kicking my butt because look how little that print is and like I don't know it just like it goes from edge to edge like there's not a lot of white space and look like there's no white space down here at the bottom and for some reason I'm really struggling but I'm gonna pers I'm going to persevere I'm gonna keep reading this because I'm and I'm pretty excited about that. Um, we've been walking different places. So um, in our town, we have 45 miles of paved trail. It's called the Constitution Trail. And so we've been going exploring different parts of that. And last week when we walked, we went in, we got off the trail and walked into an older 
section of town and walked and like we're checking out the old houses which is really cool and then um we went and walked if you saw my instagram dorothy from the wizard of oz the name dorothy who she was named for frank Elbaum had a niece who lived here in, Te in bloomington normal and she only lived for five months she had according to what my husband read congestion of the brain I don't know what that means, but she died like in the 1800s. Um, but anyways, and and um, Frank Elbaum loved her very much. And so he named Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz after his niece, Dorothy. And in our town, they, in the cemetery where she was, um, where she's buried, they carved a huge statue out of a tree, like with a chainsaw, carved this big statue of Dorothy standing there with her basket and Toto. Um, so go over to my Instagram and check that out. So we went and walked through that cemetery and we're checking things out. Um, if you think walking in the cemetery is weird, it's not. So um, that's what I've been doing for my brain. Been doing some different things. And I purposely, I have to drive between buildings several days a week. And so when I go, I don't always drive the same way. I take a different path. Um, don't always drive the same way to work. Take a different path. So those are good things for your brain. So... Um, check out Michelle Bendy's, uh, her, her fight and do something for your brain. Go sit and read in a different spot or go stitch in a different spot or watch TV from a different chair. Those little things can really help your brain. So there's, I'm done with my PSA. Okay. So check out this. C is for crow. That is awesome. And I love this one. Oh my gosh. I love this one so much. In the last um, showing, I didn't very good do a very good job. It says on there, Salem's Finest Brew. And up here, attached to this, like, it's a little, like, it's not a rivet. It's something sticking out, kind of like a push pin. There is a little charm with, like, a little glass jar and a cork lid and something in it. And next to it is... Kind of looks like a key, but I can't tell because it's so small. And then they've attached the broom. Isn't that cool? I love the finish, and I just, I really like that one. I don't have very many Halloween finishes. Like, I think officially now I have two. Um, Vana's spread on how to make that pin keep out of the candlestick holder is fabulous. Great pictures, great instructions, just like Vana. Um, here's a nice little sampler. That one really speaks like September to me. That just seems like schoolish. And then I thought of, I thought when I saw this, I thought of Acorn and Threads and Linda Joe. I thought of Gerald and I thought of Buckeye Stitcher Nicole. That's really cute. Um, what else? <laughs> I have to show this to my husband later because look at that. Look at that mouse with the key and the witch on it. It's got keys on his tail. I wish that I could get some little witches to uh, get in my garden and get my bowls out of there. We're not going to poison them. Don't worry about that. Um, my husband and I don't believe in that. I don't want to affect the birds or the snakes or anything else living. Um, but they're making quite the mess in our yard. Our yard's a mess because they got holes everywhere. Check this out. This is really cool. Except when I was looking at this up here, to me right here it says Kim. So then I was trying to figure out the rest of it because that um, that G didn't look like a G to me. I don't know. I was like, what that? I was trying to figure it out. And then I figured out it's the alphabet. But I think it would be cool to do this and then put somebody's initials up here and do something a little different on the sides. Just me. Just my ramblings. Okay, and then one more Halloween one. I don't know if I'll do this one, but this is pretty cool. Okay, so that is my 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 mail things or my my magazines. Um, I don't think I showed this one. I got this when I went to Terre Haute when I went to Indiana and was visiting with my sister-in-law and my cousin-in-law. It's my Save the Stitches. I love the colors in this, and there's no glass. It and they put like. They put batting or padding in there. It just makes me so sad when I find these pieces at Goodwill. And you guys all do. It just makes me sad because I would be sad if mine were there. 
I hope that my boys' wives will appreciate. I hope they will. Okay, so do you remember, whoop, do you remember, you know, a couple videos ago, I showed you my milk glass candy dish slash scissor keeper that I found. Well, um, Becky, the obsessed stitcher out in California was like, hey, I've been looking for one of those. And I was like, hey, there were two more. Would you like me to get it? So I got it for her. Um, so in return, she sent me a package and she is the queen of thrifting. I guess I can't like slam my arms down on the table there. She sent me this a beautiful gingham fabric for me to do finishing with, which I'm very excited about. And she knows my love of Snoopy. And so she sent me two mugs. Check this out, two mugs. This one says, Beagles are my favorite people. And there's Spike, his brother that lives in Arizona, and Belle, his sister, and then Snoopy. That's what it says. And then, I think I'm allergic to mornings. Look at poor Snoopy. So, thank you to Becky. I love them. And while I'm at it, so I keep my decorations, my patriotic decorations go up Memorial Day weekend, and they stay up until Labor Day is done. Just how I roll. So, Snoopy, Patriotic Snoopy, has come down off my shelf from behind me, and Farmer Snoopy has also come down, and who is going to go up in their place is Back to School Lucy, and the coolest student ever, Joe Cool. He's ready for school. Okay, so a couple weekends ago, a couple weekends ago, I went to, in our town, we have a corn and blues festival. And the Boy Scouts get all this corn on the cob and they cook it, they shuck it and they cook it. You could buy an ear of corn. I've never done that because I don't eat on the cob in public. Don't diss it on people who do. I just don't. I buy, I go to the back and get a whole bag of corn on the cob and take it home and eat it. It's uncooked, so I take it home and, and then we grill it. But there's vendors there. There's music, there's food, and then there's vendors selling all kinds of things. You can find all kinds of things. And there was a new lady there who's never been there before, and she does ceramics, and she had these little these little pieces, they're flat. And I was like, do you know about needle minders? You should know about needle minders. I think the stitching community might like these. She had all kinds of things. But I was like, I'm gonna grab these and take these and put magnets on the back of them. Aren't those cool? So then I was like, you gotta learn about, you gotta, open up to she just started her business and I'm like you've got a whole nother community that might be interested so I'm gonna talk to her all right so uh, okay what am I oh I have a finish so I told you guys in the last one but I didn't bring upstairs here's August and you want to see August like in place on its thing so here's August in fact, today when we went on our walk, we saw a dog that looked just like that in our neighbor's yard. We hadn't seen him in a while. Um, but it was uncanny how much he looked like that dog. And then here is September. I love those owls. Just love them. Okay, so that was all I've gotten done. So I've been working on... Um, I'm going to the Midwest Cross Stitching Retreat in Minnesota in October. And so we're doing a smalls exchange and this is what I'm making. Only I changed the color. This was a freebie from Prairie Schooler. I changed out the orange. That orange, it was the called for color was 729 and called it light gold. 
Mm, yeah, I, I like my, you know, I like my pumpkins to be orange, so I'm changing mine up. I almost have it done. I think I'm going to make it into, I think I'm going to make it into a pillow. I think. So somebody will be getting that. And then I'm participating, done by Michelle Rudy, Farm Girl Stitcher. I'm participating in the Midwest Cross Stitchers Secret Exchange. So somebody is going to get something from here. I think I might do something like this. This is what I got at StitchCon in the Smalls Exchange. Isn't that cute? And my scissors, the scissors are attached. So I've done this ghost. I did not do, I didn't stitch all the white in there because I thought that's kind of ridiculous because it looks pretty, I used white fabric. So I'm trying to decide, should I do something for the back and make one or should I do something different? Maybe two little pillows and get a little bowl. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And you know, I've been carrying these two projects around with me because they need to get done in my Diddly Daddly Designs project bag. I was watching the Cubs before I came upstairs. They were finally beating Milwaukee. Talk on it. Because they need to get their butts in gear. Okay, so those right now are my whips I'm working on. And then, oh, I kitted up. It's ready to go. I kitted up October. Isn't that adorable? So this is Snowflower Diaries. This is a free pattern I got online. I got every month. So I've had it for a while. I didn't do them as they were coming out because I was working on other things. And so I said this year I'm getting it done. So I started in May and I'm working my way through the year. So those are the three things I'm working on right now. I'm calling those my whips I'm working on. And then I have a whip in timeout. Let me... Let, re let freedom ring has gone into timeout. I just couldn't, I, I just didn't have the brain power for it. Right now school's starting up, I don't have the brain power for it. So then I have my whips in waiting. So I was going to do Mr. Cross Stitch's Bobbles. I started Mr. Cross Stitch's Bobbles. I still might get them done, but if if I'm going to send this off to Michelle Bendy, i got to get my tuchus in gear. And this is how far I am. And that, those are, that's glow-in-the-dark thread. So I need to get my button gear. Because I have to have it to Michelle by September 15th. That's not too far away. Um, I was planning on making this for one of my sons, my son who lives in Nashville. I've since changed my mind. I don't think I'm going to do this one. I think I'm going to do home is the nicest word there is and send him that instead. I think. Um, this project contains everything to do um, Lindy Stitches Birds on the Bow. So it's the stitches in waiting. Um, in here is all of the Farmhouse series. I'm up to date. I've got the fabric. I've got the called for threads. I haven't decided if they're going to be separate or one piece. Weigh in below. What do you think I should do? What are you guys doing? Let me know. I haven't decided. Um, and then I'm working on this piece. It's, it's um, Lizzie Kate's Snow Story, a Flip It series. So I'm gonna do all three of them together. I had to quit stitching on this in the spring because if I didn't stop stitching on snowmen, it was never gonna stop being cold. So I had to switch to warm things because I believe in mojo like that. I'm superstitious when it comes to baseball games, my kids playing, things like that. So here's how far I am. I finished one. This one is all done. The first one's all done. And then these trees start the next one. So I will pick that up when it's not 94 degrees out, which should be coming pretty soon. That's in my, that's in my Star Trek bag. This is a so much to love bag. This was, this was the first project I ever had. Thanks to Mary Crow. 
All right, in this bag, this is like my piece of shame. I think I've shown you guys this before. It's one of my stitches in waiting. I took it with me to Indiana that maybe I was gonna work on it and then I didn't. So it's the linens and threads um, one and that's how far I am. I love this fabric. It's the, I don't know what it is. Sorry, I don't know what it is, but I love it. I love the colors. I'm very happy with it. I just got caught up. I kept, I think it got put in timeout as well because I kept making mistakes in this and I shouldn't because it's just counting. Sometimes I just can't count. So that went into stitchy timeout. It's my, it's my stitch of shame. I need to get that back out because I want to get it done. It will make a beautiful wall hanging. This is in my very biggest Mama Joan fabric bag. I bought this fabric. Of course, it's Snoopy fabric. I had no idea what I was going to do with it. And then I met Mama Joan and I got home from last year from Minnesota and I went, oh, I could ever make her bags. So I sent her the fabric and she met the, made the bags for me. This one and this one, I don't, oh yeah. It's the Welcome Spring. I got was I won this from Vana, the fabulous Vana, in a Vana project bag. This was from her from the Indiana retreat. And I did start, oh wow, look at that. Talk about a meager start. But it started. Let's see. Yes, I'm still digging in here. Oh, this is an uber turkey. This is Uber Turkey by Bent, Bent Creek. Let me see if I have a picture. Here's the picture of the Uber Turkey. And this is how far I am on him. Totally upside down, my apologies. Here's how far I am on him. My Charlie Brown need a minder. Another Mama John project bag. Um, check out this project bag. Diana is kismet. Diana, no, 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 no. So, so sorry. Tiff. Um, Tiff did this. It'll come to me. So in here, this is Country Cottage Needleworks Main Street. This is how far I am. I haven't picked this up in a little while. It's not in timeout. It's just other things that floated my boat. And one, just one more. Just one more. The other one is by Lindy Stitches, um, Change in Latitude. I started this when we went to Alabama and that's how far I got with him. I absolutely love him. I absolutely, positively love him. But, sadly, he has been, other things have taken precedence. So, I'll get back to him. So, what else? So, who am I watching? I've been watching Silent Stitcher. She's fabulous. And I can't wait to meet her at in person. Um, Buckeye Stitcher. Pam and Stephanie just keep stitching. Donna at D Squared, her and her daughter-in-law, Tisha. We're showing off their works and that's been it. And it's so sad because school started and I don't have, I don't have time. I watched some when I was trying to write IEPs and of course I was getting distracted. Um, I watched the other night, I climbed into bed and I put, I put um, my iPad on my stomach and I was laying in bed watching and my son came in to tell me good night. I had to start that video over again the next night because I didn't, I fell asleep. So work, as my mother-in-law would say, work is interfering with my fun. And it totally is. So that's where I'm at, friends. I hope you're all well. I hope that uh, if you're getting hit by the tropical storm, I hope you are safe and everything is dry. It's supposed to hit us this week. I'm supposed to take my son, we're supposed to take our son to the Brickyard 400 in Indianapolis on Sunday, so 
I'm going to do a let's have some dry weather dance so that we can do that because he's going to be devastated. He loves NASCAR. He loves it. So we're going to go back home again to Indiana and go see that. So I hope you're all well and I hope in another two weeks I can record another video and that I will remember my faux pas of this video, the other video that I didn't show you and um, plan it all out so I don't sound like a babbling idiot. As Dave's mom said, just keep stitching till your fingers can't hold your needle. Bye.